All right, welcome back to Bailey's. Um, second episode of the Gary review. Uh, I do have a couple of corrections first. The, I said the batteries in there were LiPo, they're not, they're lithium. Don't know why I said LiPo, I already knew they was lithium. And also Mike said about this bag that we said, oh, you get a free bag. It actually takes the polystyrene that the control comes in. Because as he said, if you break the control, it's a 350 quid re uh, replacement. So, once again, they're full of pretty much everything. So that's brilliant. Right, we're going to go over the sonar, uh, we'll go over the GPS, and we'll figure out how accurate this thing is. I have been using it for fishing today, it does seem quite accurate. But if Kurt's want, Kurt wants to pass the camera over, I'll uh, show you the actual boat in action. Hi Curtis. <laughs> Being camera shy. So as you can see, boat's down there. I have set the home point. As I said, I've been using it as fishing. It's literally just in front of us. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in. We do have a marker float out there. So we're going to take the boat out to that marker float. Save that as a GPS location and uh, bring it home and then take it back out there, see how accurate it is. It's quite a crosswind today. So here's the controls. Oh, it's beeping at me, so there's a fish. <laughs> All right. So obviously your standard control is here on the left, driving the actual boat manually. So we'll take the boat out manually. As you can see on the sonar, now we're in a bit deeper water. It's telling you your bottom, how deep it is, and the water temperature up here. So we'll swap over to the boat. This is really hard to do both. Zoom in on that uh, float. A rather quiet boat for how fast it is. It is really quick. All right, so we're out to the marker float. Just run it over. Trying to get this all done without that drifting is going to be a bit of a bit of a cow. But if we come back to the actual thing, we go save. You see, it's highlighted the spot. I'm using one, two, and three. It will go up to four. It's drifted off, so I'm just going to bring it back to the marker float before we save it. Save. Okay. There you go, that is saved. We should go back out to the boat, watch her come back in. As I say, it's it's uh we do all this in all one take. Press the home button, which is this button here. Give it a focus. Press the home button. And she starts coming home. She should stop just in front of us. It'll beep when it gets to 10 meters. And then it'll beep when it, when it gets close. So we zoom back out. Damn like that. There you go, glide into a stop just in front of us. So let's see how accurate it is. So we press, if it focus, point. I'm going to take that out manually, I don't want it. 
Always, always best to take them out from the bank just a little bit manually. And then we point. Want to go to point four? So go. And off she goes. And there she is. It's about where it drifted to while I was trying to show you how to uh, how to save the points. So again, we'll bring her home. And there she is, just in front of us again. Right, so my personal view at the minute. Um, GPS seems very accurate as far as um, GPS bait boats go. It's fast, really fast. Like it creates a massive bow wave if you're on full throttle. Turning circle's brilliant. She's quiet as well. That's really quiet for how quick that's going. Bring it to a stop. Uh, sonar is quite basic. Um, I mean, it's not comparable to a TF500 or something like that. Um, which is really old technology anyway. Um, so for the price point, it would be nicer to see a bit of a better sonar on it. Uh, other than that, I haven't really got much to tell you on it. I mean, sonar's been good, controls have been good. It's been working as it should. Um, accurate on the GPS markings. Can't really fault it um, other than the sonar. The sonar, as I said, could be a bit better. I mean, it does it, it does the job. It definitely does the job. Um, but yeah. All right, well. I'll leave you to it. And I'll let you know a bit more once I've used it for a bit longer. I've got two weeks in France with it in September. So the next video will be after that. Cheers, mate. <laughs>